In order to create any sound on the instrument, we have to breathe in through our mouth, form an embouchure, and then blow through. Let's figure out how to form an embouchure. So first, say mmm. The first step is tightening our corners, or just having them be firm enough. Say mmm. And then flatten your chin, or think of it pointing down. And then last, we have to act like we're blowing through a straw. So try that with me. Take a big breath in through your mouth, form an embouchure, and then act like you're blowing through a little straw that's sitting in the middle of your embouchure. Again, ready? Good. Now we're going to try doing that into the mouthpiece. Grab the mouthpiece by what's called the shank or the edge of the mouthpiece. You're going to use your first two fingers and your thumb in order to lightly but securely grab the mouthpiece. Now, place that mouthpiece so that your lips are roughly in the center of the mouthpiece, whatever's comfortable. And then take in a breath, form an embouchure, and blow through using a who syllable. Try that with me. Ready? Again, ready? If the buzz isn't happening, keep that air moving. Perhaps use a faster air speed and think of your lips as slowly coming together. You don't want them to be so tight that the air is not flowing through, but you want them to be close enough so that a vibration can happen. Try again. Ready? And again. Ready? Let's learn to play higher or lower notes on the trombone. In order to play higher notes, we have to blow a faster airstream, and we also have to have a smaller opening of our embouchure. We can think of that opening of our embouchure as a camera lens. When we zoom in with a camera, that lens remains as a circle, but becomes smaller. As we zoom out, it becomes bigger while remaining as a circle. So as we go up, playing higher notes, we have to blow faster air and zoom in on that camera lens, like this. And as we go lower, we have to blow with a slower air and also open up the middle of our embouchure or open up that camera lens like this. You can experiment with that on the mouthpiece like this. First, let's think of accelerating our airspeed and making our opening smaller in order to get higher notes like this. Why don't you try that with me? It sounds a little bit silly, but that's basically what we have to do in order to play higher notes. Now let's practice relaxing our airspeed and opening up the center of our embouchure as we go down. Try that with me. The entire time that we're doing this, we should remain with our embouchures engaged, or our corners firm and our chin flat. 